It's here, it's now. We want to make sure that we get the rewards of playing well. I just can't believe we're here. Six guaranteed European games, who'd have thought that as a Burnley fan? To be involved in Europe is, is, is great on a personal level and for the club as well. We are set to get underway in Europe. What a game! Burnley've won it with that Jack Cork special in extra time. They'll go and play Olympiacos. Burnley are making progress yet again in the Europa League. You can see the players tonight. You know, the, the mental motivation is already there, and it has been for a long time. Um, and the group demand is there. So they're all the things that count. You know, the rest of it outside the camp is all noise. You know, it's about your own team's focus, the ability to drive forward, no matter what's put in front of them. And, and I think we're, we're good at that. So I don't, I'll, I'll be going into Sunday believing that these players will go again. They'll, they'll run hard, they'll, they'll play hard, they'll, they'll do what they need to do to try and win a game. Can I just ask, what, what did you try for players to do this season? I also wasn't here for the first game. Probably. Win a lot. Really simple. I keep it really simple. My message is, can we win a lot? And they said, what do you mean a lot? Well, just a lot. Let's start with a lot and let's see where it takes us. You can complicate all these things, challenges and all that. You can get carried away with it. You know, you can start saying, we're going to set this up. I remember managers doing cycles of games. Like, have you ever thought when it goes wrong, that cycle? Not so good to pick your players up when you've already told them this six game cycle, we're going to get this, that and the other and you don't get it. So you've got to be careful. I'm careful anyway. I'm not preaching to anyone. They can do what they want, but I'm careful with that sort of stuff. One game at a time, it remains what we focus on. Following Thursday night's triumph in the Europa League, Burnley turned their attention back to the Premier League as they host Watford the following Sunday. It's been a hectic start to the season for Sean Dyche's team. Six changes from the side that started against Bashak Shahir on Thursday night. 1-0 after extra time with Jack Cork grabbing a spectacular winning goal. They now play Olympiacos home and away in the playoff round. It's a day of reunions as Sean Dyche faces the club he once played for and managed. And former Burnley striker Andre Gray who left the Clarets last summer, is now facing his old teammates. We are underway. Back on again from Gray for Dini. Burnley a little out of position here. 1-0 Watford. Inside three minutes, Andre Gray has returned to Turf Moor and scored. Burnley have got to fight back quickly here. Lowton looking to take it on, trying to wing it across. Decent ball! Oh, that's come off a defender, I think. What a ball that was from Matt Lowton. Tarkovsky with the header, they couldn't keep that out. His first goal in Clarendon Blue, and Burnley a level. Burnley committing numbers forward here. Ward finds a chance here for Hendrick. Hendrick touches it on, it's a save. Can Lennon get there? Not quite. That's still fall for Westwood. Oh, he's got it. That's the half-time whistle. Plenty, plenty to talk about. But Burnley, since they've gone behind, have been excellent. Deeney might punch a shot here. Blocked by Ben Meem. Oh, big chance here for Deeney. Troy Deeney scored against Burnley again. And three minutes into the second half. Just like the first half, they've got off to a flyer. Watford striker Troy Deeney puts the visitors back in front. And it's only a few minutes before they take the game beyond Burnley's reach. Burnley have given it away here. 
poor ball from Lawton. Hughes on the march, looking to have a shot. That's 3 1. And he's finished that in style, left footed. Two goals in two minutes, the start of this second half. And Burnley are up against it now. Despite throwing numbers forward, Burnley's chances are few and far between. Burnley've lost it by three goals to one. It's Watford's day. They've won for the first time in 11 meetings here at Turf Moor. Next up for Burnley, trip to Greece on Thursday. Olympiakos, playoff round of the Europa League. Tributes are being paid to the former Burnley and Northern Ireland international footballer Jimmy McElroy, who has died at the age of 86. Sad day for everyone associated with Burnley, and reaction will continue throughout the afternoon on BBC Radio Lancashire. He's always regarded as Mr Burnley, our greatest player. And I think the fact that he received his MBE here at Turf Moor rather than in London reflects what he thought of us as a town as well. Burnley's European odyssey continues, takes them to Athens where they'll face Greek giants Olympiakos, a club that has won the Greek Super League a record 44 times. Due to concerns about the Olympiakos pitch, Burnley have been instructed to train at neighbouring club Panionios. Under normal circumstances, the visiting team would train at the host club stadium. The Panionios pitch is of a poor standard, but for Burnley, they must make the best of their one session under the Greek sun. Sean, I presume you've been out and, and had a look at the pitch. Obviously, we weren't able to train here tonight. What's your thoughts on the surface? It's not great, um, but we knew that before we came. Uh, we made aware of that, and we made aware that we would have to train at an alternative uh, surface that they provided, which is equally not that great, I would say. Um, but usable, um, and that's the main thing. You know, it's only to get the travel out the, the legs of the players and, and clear their minds. We'll have a light session tomorrow morning as well, but obviously not here. We believe in the group that we've got, and uh, so far I've been I've been happy with the performances um, in general, and and so we, we take on the you know the next challenge, which is tomorrow night. I think as part of the the, the the kind of prestige of any tournament is when you play against the big names, you know, and, and as you rightly say, they've got a history here, they've got a knowledge of uh, different variances in the European scene of football, and you know that's probably in their favour slightly, but. On the other hand, we've got a freshness, uh, a newness about us. It's a new look for us, you know, to, to come and take these challenges on. So, you know, we, you want to be playing teams that challenge you. Um, that's definitely what you want as a manager, but definitely as a player. You know, I played enough years to know um, that you accept these challenges, you look forward to them. Πάρα πολύ χαρούμενος με την απόδοσή τους μέχρι σήμερα. Γι' αυτό λοιπόν είμαστε έτοιμοι για την επόμενη πρόκληση, την αυριανή αναμέτρηση. Did you, did you add something there? No. I okay. So, I, I was really tempted to, but I didn't. <laughs> Thank you for playing along with my joke. <laughs> We're excited um, to come to Athens and, and obviously take on Olympiakos, you know, well-established team in Europe. Um, you know, they've got some very good players and, uh, you know, a game we're really looking forward to. We've not flew four hours to enjoy the sights of Athens, you know, we're, we're here to, you know, take part in a game and, and win the tie and hopefully get a good result and take them back to turf more. The fans have travelled in their numbers. How much of a help has that support been and, and how much do you appreciate that as a squad? Yeah, it goes a long way. 
with the players. Um, you know, they give us that extra edge when we when we play, when we you know, when we're struggling in the game. We can hear them, you know, getting behind us, and you know, that's what it's all about. And giving them a chance to experience games in Europe, and you know, we gave them that last year by finishing seventh and and the eye in Athens. And um, I hope they're looking forward to the game, and hope we can get a result for them. Thank you. Cheers. It's great, isn't it? As Burnley fans, obviously, a few years ago we were in the Championship, a few years before that, Division 1. Now we're with the big boys on the European stage. It's absolutely fantastic. Set up at 6.15 this morning, get back 6.15 tomorrow night via Poznan and Copenhagen. It won't be easy, but the support that Burnley show here is absolutely superb. I'd take a draw, but I'd like Burnley to win, say, 2-0 or something. I've watched them all my life, you know, so I'm in hit 60s in Europe. And I th never thought I'd see it again. Good evening, welcome to Athens, where Burnley have travelled to take on Olympiakos in the playoff round of the Europa League. After 11 months out through injury, club captain and goalkeeper Tom Heaton returns to the starting 11. He's now the fourth goalkeeper to start a competitive game for Burnley this season. Clarence have beaten Aberdeen and Istanbul for Shakshi here to reach this stage. They're potentially two games away from the group stages. Sad news at Turf Moor on Monday. A legend Jimmy McElroy died aged 86. The players will wear black armbands in his honour tonight. It's a hostile atmosphere, and Olympiakos immediately applied pressure on Burnley. Ball into the middle, laid off, Taylor to try and win it, but Christiodolopoulos in there, crashes into his own man, does he? No, we're playing on here, Bukalakis driving forward, challenge here to win it by Bards, though he's given against it. Tunis is placing it. Eaton's uh, exasperated with the wall at the minute. First real test in the game, I think, here for Burnley. Got it over the wall and in. It's 1 0. To Tom Eaton's right hand side. And you knew it was a big moment in the game. Fantastic free kick. He's got a really good movement on that. With the host now in the lead, Burnley find themselves under a barrage of attacks. For Tunis, can he get the shot away here? Helps it on. Christian Delopoulos, chance across the face of goal. Burnley survive. Burnley managed to soak up the pressure and start to penetrate the Olympiakos defence. Forward, two in the middle if Burnley can get the right crossing. He's looking for Wood. Will it fall for Taylor? Helps it on towards Wood. Burnley have got a penalty. Kamara on Wood. Kamara can't believe it. It's a crucial opportunity for Burnley. Wood with a big chance to put Burnley level. And scores! Burnley a level to the keeper's left-hand side. It's all square here. Chris Wood took it so, so calmly. That is a big moment in the game. Gunnarsson to try and get a ball in. He's teasing Samakas, going one way, then the other. and try and get the ball in if he can. Oh, he has. It's a great ball in there. Head of one wide of the target. Tunis driving into the box, this is where he's dangerous. Hooks it back inside, feels for ball. Referee not having it, crowd have gone furious. Everybody to a man, appealing for the handball. The referee's going to act here, there's cards. Tristan Lopolis has got in the book. He's never a penalty, Stephen Ward's got his arm behind his back. The referee's got it pop on. Be half time. 
a long, long way to go in this away leg. You know it's a proper tie when Burnley are involved. It's a proper, proper tie. The score is level as the teams head in for the break, but it becomes apparent at half-time that several of the Olympiacos staff have been confronting the referee and his officials. Fasten your seatbelts because it's going to be some second half. Burnley defending well for Tunis to try and help it on. There's an infringement here. Ben Gibson has caught his man. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a sending off in this game. The way it's uh, bubbling under. Burnley got some work to do here. Flicked on and in. 2-1. Bukalakis, the former Nottingham Forest man, has got the header. And it's Olympiacos 2, Burnley 1. And the Clarets are behind early on in the second half. With Olympiacos back in the lead, the game seems to swing dramatically in their favour. It soon feels like Burnley are battling against more than 11 players. Corner here, Burnley got to be on their guard. Swung in from that right-hand side. Saying Gibson's handled it. And there's a sending off here. Controversy here. The two ridiculous cards. Vijanis against Heaton looks an incredibly harsh penalty. Burnley down to 10, up against it here. Soft sending off, and Burnley are really up against it now. Burnley got to bring Sam Vokes on, it seems. Burnley once again turned to striker Sam Vokes, who makes an immediate impact. Burnley free kick. It's a chance to kick the tie into life. Taylor to deliver, swings it in, looks deep. Burnley got a touch on it, chance here! Burnley got a goal here! Offside flag, offside flag. Weinsman's got that right, I think. That is the final whistle. Controversial game here. Finished Olympiacos 3, Burnley 1. The second leg of this game next Thursday. Olympiacos lead by three goals to one. Maybe there's life still in the tie yet. Olympiacos away from home. It's never going to be an easy tie. We all know that they're experienced in Europe. They obviously got tough in, uh, in the second half. Um, they obviously scored first. We got back in it. And yeah, a bit of a whirlwind second half, to be honest. Um, but we're still in it, another take them back to Turf Moor next week. Um, and we still fancy our chances of, of coming through the tie. I checked this week, it's 11 and a half months, first, first competitive fixture for 11 and a half months. So it's my first, sort of first, uh, first step on the ladder. I absolutely loved it, I know we got beat, but I love being out there um, and looking forward to kicking on from that, really. to make himself hurt him out, wouldn't he? Oh, yeah. With that lot. Have a go, yeah. <coughs> okay. Yeah, for an interesting uh, 90 minutes out there, what are, what are your thoughts on what you've just seen? Well, my thoughts are them brilliant fans there who have travelled over. I feel for them, because uh, they just want to see their team play in Europe against 11 players, nothing else. That wasn't the case tonight. For the life of me, I don't understand why he's booked Ben Gibson. The first one, maybe. The second one, he's gone to block a shot, it hits his hip, it hits his hand. How can that be deemed deliberate and ball? Um, and then gets Ben Gibson sent off. And then the whole game then, you know, we're, we're having to hold on to make sure we preserve what it is at that, that time and take our away goal back. The scenes I saw in the half time was peculiar, let's say, um, about uh, certain people on their side around referees, let's say. Respect really wasn't shown in your eyes, though. No, no, it certainly wasn't. But, you know, we, we have to take it on the chin and get on with it like we do.
Three days later, it's another quick turnaround to face newly promoted Fulham in the Premier League. Good afternoon and welcome to Craven Cottage for Burnley's third Premier League game of the season. Burnley could go into the bottom three or they could go ninth with a win. Fulham, who spent heavily on new players in the summer, immediately take the lead in what turns into an eventful first half. Burnley are behind here at Craven Cottage. Given away, ball forward's nice. Here's Lennon, Burnley on the counter here. Can Lennon find his man in the middle? Looks to pick out Wood. Might fall here for Jeff Hendrick, can he finish it? Yes, Jeff Hendrick's leveled it. Great work from Aaron Lennon. Jeff Hendrick, first of the season. Terry, just short, he's looking to pick out Kenny, Kenny towards the back post, and in, there's no flag, Mitrovic has got it. Vieto to get it back, Vieto ball in, he's dangerous, oh it's three, and it's that man Mitrovic again, the Clarence caught in the counter-attack, Burnley in trouble, eight minutes to half-time. Burnley could do with one back before half time. Here's Taylor. Swing it in. Good delivery in there. Made to win the header. Oh, and it's yes! it. Goal's coming thick and fast now for James Tarkovsky. Second in Burnley colours. Mitrovic now teasing Taylor. Into the box now. Left foot shot against the post. Shirley sealed it. Hart made the save. Surely that's the end of the game now. The hosts seal the game and Burnley, weary from their exertions on two fronts, slip into the relegation zone. Fulham the winners here by four goals to two. The news I'm afraid from Craven Cottage is not good. Whatever happened in the last game is, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a fresh game, it's a new start, bigger challenge, obviously, with the scoreline. Um, the way goal was helpful. Um, you know, it would have been nicer if it wasn't the scoreline it is, but it's, it's, it's another challenge for us, you know. So we don't want to, I certainly said my piece over there, don't want to cry it in about that, made it clear, I was trying to be concise about facts um, rather than getting too emotional about it. So really, we focus on this game and, and see what we get from it. Um, you know, the, the best times of a club's uh, history and the memories of it will be from success. So our challenge is to, you know, win, win football matches, you know, and, and if you, I always say, you know, you can only reference your time or a manager's time at the club. And I've been here five and a half years and in them five and a half years from where it was to where it is now is, is a massive, massive different uh, situation. So I think all of the Burnley fans recognise that and respect it. But like me and like the team, they're, they're hungry to make sure we continue these, these good days. Good evening, welcome to Turf Moor for the crucial Europa League playoff second leg against Olympiacos. The Greeks lead 3-1 after a controversial first game. It's another huge Europa League night at Turf Moor, with a guaranteed six games in the group stages awaiting the winner. Sean Dyche makes seven changes from the side that lost at Fulham, including a first start for 18-year-old academy graduate Dwight McNeil. Big, big night for Dwight McNeil, 18-year-old. Trailing 3-1 from the first leg, Burnley know they have to take the game immediately to Olympiakos. Bit saved by the keeper's legs. Got what we wanted inside 30 seconds. A 2-0 win tonight would see them win the tie on away goals. Deep towards the back post, but made to win it. Still bouncing around in there, hooked over by Volks. 
The game starts well, with Burnley creating several chances. Back for Dwight McNeil here. McNeil with the ball in. Oh, and Vox with header just wide. Sam Vox rose well, just headed it wide of the target. That was the big chance. Good ball towards the back post, but they do get ahead on it. Might fall for Hendrick, he's blocked. And gone behind for a corner. Great ball in from McNeil. Swung in by McNeil. Good ball in there, headed over. Oh, it was a big chance. Big, big chance for Burnley again from the corner. Burnley have created enough. Here's Westwood, looking over the top for Vokes, he's onside, peeled away nicely, can he take it on into the middle, trying to get back inside to help him, he's Barnes, shot on time, oh. just wide, just wide. Despite their efforts, Burnley cannot find the net, and it's goalless at the break. Some big chances here for Burnley, but all in all, enough in that first half to get the crowd excited, I think. They know they're in for a tough 45 minutes. Burnley have to get that first goal. Me inside for Hendrick, on for Westwood. Westwood looking for Barnes here, touch back for Vogt. Thrift shot from Sam Vogt, come back off the post. He could have had a hat-trick, super move. Burnley have done everything but score here. In the stands, hope turns into disbelief as it seems no matter what Burnley try, they cannot find that first goal. On in turn from McNeil. McNeil to have a shot! Oh, he's tipped over by the keeper. He's been tested now. Super effort from Dwight McNeil. Big chance here for Jeff Hendrick. Touches it inside, can Burnley score? Still might fall for Barnes. They just never then fell to anybody after that, did it? Chances come and go as Burnley do everything but score. With 25 minutes to go, new signing Matty Vidra is brought on to help break the deadlock. But fortune is still favouring Olympiakos. pressure has lost out and they've nicked it through camera ball through the middle here for Kuka Kuka on in turn big chance here to seal it but fall for Prodens here Olympiakos have scored against the run of play Podent strikes to make the aggregate score 4-1 to Olympiakos. The Clarets now need three goals. With only seven minutes remaining, the tie is beyond them. And a one and off the line. Since it forced off, it is in the end. Matty Vidra does bundle home a consolation goal, but Burnley's European adventure is coming to an end. It took 51 years to come around. It lasted little more than a month. But this was a wonderfully symbolic, historic moment in the modern day era for Burnley Football Club. Back on the European stage, the Clarets gave it their all. Ultimately, it just wasn't enough. The quality of opposition they faced was unusually high. The level of performance arguably merited more but Burnley were back in Europe. And for this generation of Clarets fans, the summer travels to Scotland, Turkey and Greece created memories that will last 
until the next time. <laughs>